At the time of the salaf, there was a poor woman, a home servant. She lives with a family in their house to help with cooking and cleaning and stuff. One day she started working in a new house of a new family. On her first night, she knocked on the door of the bedroom of her new boss. Her boss woke up angry and said to her, What's the matter with you? Why did you wake us up? It's not time for Fajr yet. She said, Do you only pray Fajr? You don't pray any night prayer at all? He said, no, we don't. She was shocked. The next morning, she went back to her previous boss and told him, please take me back to work for you because turns out I am now working in a house of a very bad family. They don't pray night prayer. During the time of the Salaf, the first three generation after the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, the very, very small minority of people who didn't do their night prayers on a daily basis were considered very bad people. Look at us now. This video contains all you need to know about night prayers. What is night prayers? How to do it? Who should do it? What is the reward for it? How many rak'at is enough? Is it better to do more rak'at or to do longer rak'at to read more Quran? In the night prayers, can I read from a printed Qur'an or from my mobile phone? What is the difference between night prayer, taraweeh, and tahajjud? What is the minimum night prayer and more? Very important information that every Muslim should know. So bring your coffee and let's start. What is night prayer? At the beginning of the journey of the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him. God knew he was about to face huge hardship and difficulties and struggle facing the atheists, the pagans, and the people of the book. He wanted him to be strong and ready for all that. So God prescribed for him something that will supercharge his spiritual strength and make him ready to face the whole world. Read with me, Quran chapter 73. O oh, you wrapped in your clothes. Stand all night in prayer except a little. Pray half of the night, more or less, and recite the Quran slowly and distinctly. For we will soon send upon you a weighty revelation. Indeed, worship of the night is more impactful on the heart and more upright for articulation. Hundreds of people who made it a habit to do their night prayers regularly have reported feeling calm, content, and peaceful all day long, very hard to aggravate, having no problem dealing with the difficulties of life, not knowing what depression is, not knowing what anxiety is, as if he is living in his own bubble of happiness, not caring what's going on in the whole dunya. Night prayer is the best way to show Allah what's really in your heart. Imagine three friends. In the day, they have the same life, finishing their work, running towards their goals, nothing special. But at night, when work time is over, when each one of them is away from his colleagues, he decides to pursue what makes him happy. The first one calls his friends to go drinking and clubbing. The second one prefers to eat a nice meal and sleep early so he can sleep a lot. And the third one, who can't wait to meet his lifelong loved one, the one that fixes all of his problems, the one that makes him feel safe, his best friend, his therapist, his master, his God, Allah. He waits for the night to come. Then he runs to do wudu, wears the best clothes he has, puts on perfume, prepares for the most important meeting in his life, closes his room to have some privacy, and finally, dumps all of his sorrows and worries and say Allahu Akbar and stand in front of God to pray to him for hours. The only thing that ruins his happiness is that his prayer time will end soon and he has to wait until tomorrow for his next opportunity to do night prayers again. That is what I mean when I say the night really shows who you are. Why should I do night prayer? If I list all the reasons, this video will last forever. So I will try to be brief. Number one, the Prophet peace and blessing be upon him said, 
Allah waits until the third of the night is over. And then he comes near and says, Is there anyone who asks for forgiveness? Is there anyone who wants to repent? Is there anyone who wants anything from me? Make your dua. I'm listening. He waits for your prayer and your dua until it's time for Fajr. Number two. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, If anyone prays the night prayer with ten verses only, he will never be written among al-ghafilun. Who are al-ghafilun? Ghafilun are negligent people. People who ignore God in their lives and focus on their dunya. You will never be written among them. And if anyone prays the night prayer with hundred verses, he will be written among al-qanitin. Who are al-qanitin? The obedient people. The people who are close to Allah. And if anyone prays the night prayer with 1,000 verses, he will be written among al-muqantirin. Al-muqantirin are those who will receive the greatest reward. And if you think 1,000 verses is too much, if you start from chapter al-mulk to the end of Quran, this is easily more than 1,000 verses. And it will take you less than two hours to finish. Number three. God said in this Qudsi hadith, The best way my servant can please me is with fard. Then after fard, my servant keeps trying to please me more and more with nawafil. Optional good deeds. Until I love him. And when I love him, I am his hearing with which he hears. I am his sight with which he sees. I am his hands with which he strikes. And I am his foot in which he walks. Were he to ask anything from me, I would surely give it to him. And were he to seek refuge with me, I will surely grant him refuge. And his enemies will be my enemies. And the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, The best prayer after Fard is night prayer. How lucky you will be if you started today. Number 4. In Quran, chapter 25, 63, God is describing a type of people which he calls Ibadur Rahman, the servants of the Most Merciful. Listen to their description. Those who walk on earth humbly, and when the foolish address them improperly, they only respond with peace. Those who spend a good portion of the night prostrating themselves and praying before their Lord, and saying, Our Lord, keep the punishment of hellfire away from us. Those who do not invoke any other God besides Allah, those will be rewarded with that chamber for their patience. So the question is, what is the chamber? Have you ever been to the opera house? You can book the cheaper back seats or the expensive front seats, but the VIPs, they will not sit like us in normal seats. They will book one of the chambers above. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, There are people in Jannah who are in chambers. The normal citizen of Jannah looks at them the same way we look at planets and stars in the sky. Night prayer is a very easy way to get this great level in paradise. Number 5. In Quran chapter 51 verse 16, God is describing the inhabitants of paradise as follows. Before they were in Jannah, they were truly good doers in dunya. They used to sleep only little in the night and pray for forgiveness before dawn. In other words, their amazing place in Jannah is a reward for their night prayer. Number 6. Also in Quran chapter 32 verse 16, Allah is describing the great reward He prepared for those who do their night prayer. They abandoned their beds, invoking their Lord with hope and fear, and donate from what we've provided for them? No soul can imagine what delights I prepared for them as a reward. No soul can imagine. Number seven. You get the same meaning in this Qudsi hadith. God said, I prepared for my devout servants what no eyes have ever seen, what no ears have ever heard, and what no one will ever Image. 
Number eight, night prayer replaces missed fard. I get this question a lot. Back when I was young, I missed some fard prayers. I tried to do them, but I'm worried I didn't do all of them. Listen to this amazing hadith. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, The first thing that you will be asked about on the Day of Judgment is fard prayers. If you succeeded in it, then you succeeded in everything else. And if you failed in it, then you failed and lost everything. But Allah will say, take from his optional prayers and complete his fard prayers for him. Your night prayers can replace any fard prayer that you missed and forgot about. Number 9. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Do your night prayers because it is the habit of the obedient people. as salihin It brings you closer to Allah and it gives you the willpower to stop bad habits and it wipes away your sins and it's good for your health. Number 10. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Angel Jibreel came to me and said, Try to live as much as you can, but you will die. Love whoever you choose, but you will say goodbye someday. Do whatever you want, but you will be asked for it. And know that the honor of every believer is his night prayer. And number 11, of course we already mentioned it in the beginning of the video, it supercharges your heart and makes you strong to face the fitna in life which we need now more than ever in history. The Prophet was doing night prayers half of the night every day. Do I have to do night prayer for long hours like him? God said in Quran chapter 73 verse 20. He knows that you believers are unable to endure this and he turned to you in mercy. So recite in prayer whatever you can from the Quran. He knows that some of you will be sick some of you will be traveling throughout the land seeking Allah's bounty, and some will be fighting in the cause of Allah. So recite whatever you can from it. Based on this verse, we understand that God is not expecting from every one of us the same amount of night prayers every night like the Prophet. It depends. If you have a lot of work to do, or traveling, or sick, or fighting in the cause of Allah, then God is expecting less number of hours from you. But if you are spending your time watching television, playing video games, browsing social media, or just wasting your time with your friends, that will not count as an excuse, and you are expected to do a lot of night prayers every night. How to do night prayers? Simply choose the number of rakat you want to pray. It can be prayed after Aisha, before Fajr. The easiest formula to count the number of rakat is 2x plus 1. You choose the x. For example, you can do two rakat plus one, or four rakat plus one, or six rakat plus one, and so on. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, used to pray ten rakat plus one, two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus one in the end. But that is not a rule. You can choose whatever fits you. And don't forget the one rakat in the end. It is called witter. And the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, God loves it. Can I just do the witr? Yes, if you have exam tomorrow, for example, or very tired for any reason, one witr raka after Aisha counts as night prayer. What if I prayed witr and slept, and then after that decided to wake up and do more night prayer? No problem at all. But after the second night prayer, don't do the witr again. One witr per day is enough. Do I have to wait until the last third of the night? No. You can do night prayer directly after Aisha prayer. But if you wait, you will have more reward. Is it better to do more rakat or to do longer rakat and read more Quran? Find whatever is closest to your heart and whatever supercharges your soul. Some people get tired very quickly. Standing a lot in one rakat reading Quran is hard for them. These people usually tend to do more small rakats. On the other side, a lot of people prefer to read more in every rakat this makes them more concentrated and more connected with the Quran they are reading. Either way, do whatever works for you. If it is your first time doing night prayer, don't start with 11 rakat every day. Start with 2 plus 1 first and then add 2 more rakat every month. Can I read from a printed Quran or from a mobile phone while praying? If it is for the prayer, no. 
But if it is night prayer or sunnah, yes. Actually, in night prayers, you are expected to read one or two juz every night, to finish the whole Quran once or twice per month. If you're not a hafiz, the only way you can do that is by reading from your phone or a printed Quran. But don't forget to turn off all of your notifications before praying. What is the difference between night prayer, taraweeh, and tahajjud? They are all night prayer. Taraweeh is usually said about the night prayers that we do in Ramadan after Aisha. And tahajjud refers to the night prayers that comes after sleep. If you sleep after Aisha, for example, and then wake up two hours before Fajr to do night prayer, we call this tahajjud. Anyway, they are all the same thing. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Deliver my message, even as small as one verse. And this is your turn now. Don't let this video stop with you. Help it spread by engaging with it with likes, shares and comments. And if you want to watch a complete breakdown on Sharia law, check out this playlist up there. And if you want to watch more Q&A videos like this, check out this playlist down there. Thanks and Salam Alaikum.